Hi, what's up, guys? Welcome to Young Family in our YouTube channel. Today is January 21st, 2022. I have one citrus tree which is called Clementine Mandarin in the container. In the year of 2020, this citrus tree produced about 15 mandarin oranges. But last year, it didn't produce any fruits. Why? Something wrong? Yes. This citrus tree is not in the good condition. So in today's video, I'm going to take you to take a look at this citrus tree. Later, I'm going to report this citrus tree to a bigger container. Stay tuned. Okay, this is the citrus tree I'm going to talk about today. Actually, on my YouTube channel, I have a bunch of videos talking about this citrus tree. So if you're interested, you can click the link down below in the description. Actually, on my YouTube channel, there's one playlist named Citrus Tree Propagation and Care. I have a bunch of videos talking about how to propagate a citrus tree and how to care for your citrus tree. If you are interested, you can still go ahead, click the playlist on my YouTube channel and find that Citrus Tree Propagation and Care playlist. But today, you might be the first time to watch my YouTube channel. So before we get started, I'd like to give you a little bit quick description about this citrus tree. So let's check out this label first. So it is called Clementine Mandarin. It is kind of a citrus tree. So basically, this is grafted citrus tree. I think it is grafted. Uh, it was grafted in 2016. I got this citrus tree in 2018. After that year, every year this citrus tree produced a lot of flowers. And in 2018, it didn't produce any fruits. 2019, it produced only one mandarin orange. In 2020, it produced about 15 mandarin oranges. So it's beautiful that time. But unfortunately, last year, this citrus tree did not produce any fruits something wrong with this citrus tree so today we are going to focus try to analyze what's the problem it might cause this citrus tree did not bear any fruits as we know most of fruit trees including citrus tree they have a kind of alternate bearing that means for example citrus tree has a tendency to produce a lot of fruits in one year but followed with one year has light or no crop. This phenomenon usually is caused by lack of flowering. But fortunately, this citrus tree every year, as I mentioned, always produced a lot of flowers. So now let's focus the problem. So actually, as I mentioned, in springtime every year, about like March, April, this citrus tree always produce a lot of flowers but after that one some tips especially at the end of the small branches died you can see here a lot of kind of like a died you see here it's brown color it's died it's dry out and died and here you see very obviously you can see brown color is died so Let's check out, you see here, you still can see a lot of, right here, right? And here, and here, this is kind of like a dead branch. And uh, so if you just focus some details, some tip of some branches, you see, it's dead. So not healthy. At that time, I don't know what's the reason, because all the flowers dropped. It cannot produce small fruits. Even though it produced some small fruits, but later it cannot grow big and dropped. So what's the problem? And also you can see some brown leaves, especially at the tip of the leaves. And gradually all the leaves died. So what's the problem? So at the beginning, I saw that this citrus tree was infected with some disease such as like a pests. So, but if you check some leaves, kind of all the leaves is fine. You cannot find any kind 
of pest on the leaves, especially under the back of the leaves. Looks okay. So right now, generally, I already exclude the possibility it is caused by pests. If you check the leaves, kind of leaves, most of it is still green. But if you check the leaves right here, kind of a little bit yellowish. And I know this citrus tree leads some like uh, micronutrients, might be some kind of one or several specific micronutrients is deficient. So this is one thing I think. Actually, as I mentioned, the major problem is the tips of the small branches died and the leaves, small leaves, new leaves died. So that's caused a problem. So most of you know, the flowers it produced at the tip of the branches. So that's why I cannot get any fruits on this citrus tree. As I mentioned earlier, you know, the, the citrus tree has uh, alternative bearing. Last year, this citrus tree bared a lot of fruits after that one. So actually, I didn't, you know, apply a lot of fertilizers. So basically, this is not original container. I think maybe 2018 or 2019, I reported this citrus tree from original container to this container. This container size is might be, I think maybe four gallons, something like that. So after that, I never report this citrus tree to other containers. So I have no idea about the root system in this container. For this citrus tree, I once pruned in early 2020, might be in early 2020, I cut some branches. I once made a video, I cannot remember clearly, maybe 2019, so whatever, you know. So basically, you can see right now, there's a lot of small branches, especially inside of this citrus tree. So basically, it can block a lot of sunlight directly into this citrus tree. So later, I'm going to print some branches, but you know, I this video probably too long. I don't want to do it today. Maybe later after I report to the bigger container, I'm going to make another video to specifically talk about how to prune this citrus tree. So basically you can see right now, still you can see some like flowers. You see right now flowers. So basically, as I mentioned, I know this citrus tree usually produce flowers in March. So here, you can see here, right? And uh, I think there's one small, uh, somewhere, small fruits, but it cannot produce, cannot grow bigger somewhere. Anyway, so you can see here, some new leaves, it's kind of like a little bit yellow. So here, it's not green or dark green. So definitely, I think this is citrus tree needs some like fertilizers. So, okay, I already talked a lot about this citrus tree. So basically, I think the major problem about this one is caused by root system because this citrus tree in this container for many years, maybe the root system is not healthy, so they cannot aspirate efficiently nutrients. So that's why this citrus tree cannot get a lot of nutrients at the tip of the branches. So today I'm going to report this citrus tree to this bigger container. And meanwhile, I'm going to check out the root system. So let's do it. Okay, on the right side, you can see a bigger container. It's a big black container. It's kind of like a two size, two fold size about this container. Actually, this is, uh, I checked, is about uh, 12 gallon. So the diameter is about 17 inches and the height is about 15 inches. So you can see at the bottom, there's a six big drainage hole. So today I'm going to use the potty mix is this one. 
for palm, cactus, and citrus. This is specifically for citrus. I'm going to use this one. I just opened it. It's a new one. It's a fresh. And uh, I'm going to put some chikamalu at the bottom. And meanwhile, I'm going to put some uh, compost. Let me show you here. I have one or two compost container. It's right here. So basically, check out right here. So I'm going to dig out, dig up some compost and put it at the bottom. And uh, also, I'm going to put some like, you see here, this is a uh, macho. I'm going to put some macho at the bottom to improve the drainage. You see here, the big wood chips. So here I have some fertilizers. So I just quickly give you a general description. Those, this is all purpose is general fertilizer, it's granule. So I'm going to put some and mix it with the soil. And this is also all purpose, but this is fast acting fertilizers. This is a slow release fertilizers. And I have a bunch of other fertilizers. I'm not going to use today, but I just quickly mention you. If you are interested, you can check out my other citrus videos. I once talked about all these fertilizers. So this is a, can provide a lot of different micronutrients. So maybe it can correct some like a deficiency. This is for bud and the bloom booster. So maybe in April or early in March, probably I can apply some to produce, to let this citrus produce more flowers. And this is a monopotassium phosphate, which contains a lot of phosphorus and potassium. This is a bone meal. As you know, this is contains a lot of phosphorus. It's 12. No potassium. So nitrogen is a four. So they both can produce more flowers.